How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. I know you guys couldn't guess it. This has got to be the biggest shocker to date on my channel. We're at freaking Walmart. Okay, I know. Just it's never been seen before. I decided to mix it up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm always here. Anyways, we are gonna be doing a little catfishing challenge. Um, we're going to attempt to do some jug line fishing. I have never, never in my life jug line fished. In my entire life, never done it. Um, and it's always been something I've wanted to do because it seems like the most efficient way. You go out there, you drop this thing down there, you leave. It's like checking traps and setting traps. You leave them, then you go check them, and you either have them or you don't, but you don't have to necessarily like be there. There are regulations on, you know, how long you can leave them in the water, they gotta have your name on it, but we're fishing private property, so just bear with me here. But uh, if you're gonna go do jug fishing, you gotta go check your eggs, because there's there's certain regulations that, you know, say that you can't do. What, are you getting naked again? Why are you always it's doing not. this? Why are you always I, doing I this? I show off the flare shirt, actually. Oh, true, look so at that. Don't even look at that. Me. Look at that swag right there. Look at these overalls. These are actually yeah. prototype overalls here. Uh, beefcake merch coming coming soon, uh, probably not. Um, anyways, we're gonna try to do some jug line fishing. I know nothing about it. So, what do you do when you know nothing about jug line fishing? You call the jug line fishing master, LFG, Lake Fork guy. We're gonna give him a shout. He's probably not gonna answer, but if he does, I hope he does, because I need some tips on, I don't know what to buy. I know they have jugs, but you need like hooks and you need line and you need bait and you need weights. You need all sorts of good stuff. So we're gonna call LFG and see what he has to say. You guys ready for this moment? There's no way he's gonna answer. Father Ackley. Kendrick, Ken, I think Kendrick's jug line with him, but. Hello? 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 Who is this? Uh, Teresa, who are you looking for? I'm looking for my friend Justin. Uh, he does not have this number anymore. All right, thank you, Teresa. Hi. Son of a gun, right? When did he change I his wasn't number? Talking about that. He literally was just telling me a story about how in John's. Okay, I gotta go. I've got a group chat with Rackley, and he was just texting him. He changed his. I better change. I better delete that contact. That is hilarious. Bonzo was literally just telling me about how John B. Face John time. B. was trying to Facetime, and this Teresa lady answered, and Teresa just poor Teresa. Okay, let me delete that contact. I'm looking for my friend Justin. I'm looking for my friend Justin. You know when what she answered? Answer? I was so confused. Well, when she answered, I'm like, wow, I didn't expect Rackley to answer. Do I have a number for LFG? Justin Rackley. Oh, I have new. I do have his yeah, new number. I just one. put LFG in the other one. Okay, let's try this one. Poor Teresa. She probably knows that jug line. I just should have asked her. What if she was dialed? What if she was just like the cat lord? The hunter's not answering. Now watch him not answer, but Teresa. I'll call Teresa back. Teresa, I got a question for you. Your call has been forwarded. Oh, why does this happen to me? Okay, who else do I know catfishes? I'll call Kendrick. Kendrick will answer. I promise that. So far we're... What's up? Yo, what's good? Oh, uh, me and Eric are, we went to the warehouse. We was in the warehouse, but picked up that Guggen bucket at the Walmart. Are you with Rackley? Uh, no. What's he doing with his life? He's fishing. Oh, I tried calling him. Yeah, he's fishing, him and Robert. Oh, him and Rob are giving a dangle. All right, so if I call if I call Rob right now, he's on the same boat as Rackley, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get a hold. Of, I need some jug line fishing tips right now. <laughs> Teresa wasn't dialed. And I called the wrong wrong LFG number, and some lady named Teresa answered. She didn't know how to jug line fish either. So I'm I'm standing in a Walmart parking lot with a camera faced at me, trying to call people and figure out how to jug line fish because I want to catch some catfish, and I don't know how to do it. So I was gonna call Father Rackley because I know he's done it. If I'll give Father Rackley a call, see what he's doing. So all right, well I appreciate the tips. Good luck, boys. Oh, that was useless. I'm calling Rob to talk to Justin because Justin can't answer his phone. But Justin also has a smartwatch that tells him what someone's going Hey, how's it going? Fine, just dangling. Are you with you with LFG? Yeah, what's up? I need to talk to L my boy LFG. I need some tips. Tips. Rackley, I tried calling you, you didn't answer. And then, well, actually, I called the wrong number, and uh, some lady Teresa named answered. Teresa answered, and well, she she wasn't you. I, okay, I'll make it quick. I know you're out fishing. I, I wanted, to, I'm gonna jug line fish uh, for catfish here in my pond. I'm at Walmart. I'm gonna go, go buy a jug. Uh, what, what's the strat here? What do I what do I gotta do? Oh, you're gonna buy a jug kit, like the pool noodle. Yeah, thing? the noodle. Um, what kind of water are you fishing? Like, how Sh deep is it? Uh, a 10 foot pond. It's not okay. much. I, I, I've seen one of your videos where you kind of almost drop shot at it. Like, you had a big yeah. cylinder weight. Like, I feel like that's the deal because it keeps it off the bottom a little bit. Yeah. You know, two or two ouncer probably would do. Like it. a two ouncer. Okay. Uh, and that one right there, yeah. it's, it's almost good to like have it float around the pond. So, just okay. off the bottom. So, I would get it to, like eight foot, go eight foot down. Okay. And then, uh, like, you, you don't think the weight should ounce. be on the bottom? Uh, you want it to kind of float around? No. Not in, not in that instance. Yeah. Okay, got it. If I was gonna put the weight on the bottom, like how high do you want the bait up? Does it need to be close to the bottom or can it be just kind yeah, of you, suspended a little bit? Want, yeah, you want one low. Okay. And then 
I mean, how I normally do mine is low, mid, and high. Low, low, low mid, high, and see. Okay, what do you suggest for bait? I'm just after some channels. Uh, for bait, channels really like stink, stinky stuff. Stinky stuff. Okay. Yeah, but you could use like hot dogs or something. Yeah, I've got some on. I've caught some on a hot dog, so I might do that. I've got some gizzards and stuff too, or liver, and I might try a little gizzards bit of something. Stay on, something that stays on there pretty good. Okay. Because sometimes they'll they'll try to grab it and won't. <laughs> Hook them like they really have to eat it good. All right, I'll, I'll give it a dangle then. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, well I'll let you guys get back to it. I appreciate it. No problem, man. All right, catch you back. See you, bye. Well, after I talked to the whole Guggen squad, come to find out, I knew exactly how to juggle line yeah. fish. I was waiting for some secrets. I I don't know. He it was interesting. He says not to put on the bottom. I think we should go on the bottom because if it, it gets windy, it's just gonna blow in the bank and then you're just yeah. toast. I would say the strat. I need to read the regs to see how many hooks I can put on this thing. I say the weight on the bottom. Have a bait one foot up and a bait like two and a half, three feet up where it's kind of suspended. And I don't really want to go kill any bluegills, but we do have a couple. We've got some hot dog. We've got some, are they gizzards? I think they were. It was some, it was some gizzard. Was yeah. It, what was it out of? It was out of some kind of. It was a gizzard shad. I think it was. Shad, gizzard yeah. shad. That's what we got some it. shad or something from our boy Pap here in town. Either way, we're going to run inside. Let's just get some tackle. That was excessive amount of time for a little information. Anyways, see you guys inside. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a three pack. Cheese and rice. It's a good deal right there. What's the price on the old three pack? Know. So how many can we get? We can get two, four, six. So two, three packs. Math. I'm a scholar. So we're getting that. So the old, see the thing is you can make these pretty easy. Is this uh the question is, do, does this one, uh does this one tilt up? Drag your, drag your noodle in the water is what it says. Free float or attach your line to the dock or boat. When fish gets on the line, noodle will pop up in the air. Interesting. That's kind of neat. We didn't even need rack. We've got instructions. Yeah, true. Yeah, Who needs rack? We don't need that. Like, I'm just kidding. I love you. Um, so we do need some circle hooks though. So these team catfish, these are, that's a circle hook, ain't it? Or is that a bait hook? You would know. You're that's a bait hook. Yeah. Uh, circle hook. There's your circle hook. Oh, here's a. That's a five. Say, that looks a little big. That's all they have is five on. I mean, that's not. Too, I don't think that's too bad. What's uh, that's a six. Um, I think we already have some at home, yeah, so I don't think we. We could probably get that. That was all they have. We have more at home though, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah. Um. You like a rope instead of like a line. What is that? What's this for? Like to. Tie this is a drop line. A, uh... It's it's a it's a catfish drop oh. line. Oh, that's what it's for. Oh. We, we really didn't need Rackley. Look at this. So example of a drop line, jug line, you have your set line, then you have your drop line. This is a drop line, so this is a set line. That's set a line. set line. Cheese and well, how big a catfish do you think we're catching? A big one. Freaking 235 show. pounds. <laughs> God dang. Beefy. So basically that's your main line and then this goes off to the side. See like that, like uh, Rackley was oh. saying. So right here is drop line, that's set line. I say we just, we trust Walmart. See what they have. Yeah. See, you know, just, sure. they have it all for you. They've got the jugs, they've got the team catfish hooks, they've got the drop line, the set line. So that's that's 250 pound, and this is 72 pound, which is a lot. Yeah. We're gonna play odds, see if we buy it. Really? You even look at the price? <laughs> no, I have no idea. How much is it? It's probably something stupid. 350, cheese and rice, Rick. Are we playing? Sure. How do you play this game again? I always forget. Here, so, hang on, this is getting serious. Okay. So we'll do like, out of 10. Oh God, no, what I, what's Okay, I, well you pick, what's the odd? You gotta pick up, what odd? I'll do 10, I'll do 10, I'll leave. And if we both say the same number, you have, have to buy, buy it. it. What happens if I don't? Then we just don't buy it. Well, isn't there a punishment for you? <laughs> How what's the, did fun, I get what's the fun in this game? I have to buy that thing. You gotta buy, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so you go, you say three, two, one, one. and then you say a number, yeah, right? Yeah, say the same number, you have to buy <laughs> No. Okay, all right, who's counting it? Tie, count us down. Three, two, one. 10. Three. Yes! Oh, All right, we're good, let's go. Oh yeah! Bonzo, if you were a catfish, what kind of wiener would you want to stick in your mouth? Smoked sausage meat. Smoked sausage? Well, yeah, some with some good hearty casing, so it, stay, it stays on the hook. Good casing on it? Oh, that's, I mean, it's a pretty solid, it's a pretty solid sausage. I would say the casing's pretty good on that. Let's try that. We've got a few things already at home. We've been doing some catfishing. This is gonna have some good, good casing. So anyways, I think we're good at the old Walmart. We're gonna run actually to the farm and grab some weights. And then um, we should be going back home, get all the jugs rigged up, take them out, throw them out, and hopefully catch catfish. You guys stay tuned. Shoo, Melly. You gonna do some catfishing, buddy? What are you doing? Where's your sister at? Is Lucy doing Lucy things? What are you doing, big puppy? Is Lucy over here? Is she sleeping? Oh yeah, she's sleeping, look at that. Lucy. There's gotta be a more comfortable spot than that. Why are you just laying on the concrete? Fucking dog. Anyways, we got everything laid out right here. I'm gonna walk you through my setup based off the guidance of Kendrick, Rackley, Rob, and Perrick and see what I can come up with. See if I can make something happen here uh, with the old jug. If you guys have any jug fishing tips, let me know. Otherwise, we're gonna get these guys rigged up, throw it out in the pond, and hope for the best. You stay tuned. Boom, take your noodle, take your line. I made my line 15 feet 
long. Now that might be too much. My pond's depth is pretty much 15 at the deepest, like in the channels, which I don't really plan on throwing these all in the channel, but maybe I'm gonna make two of these guys a little bit deeper and then maybe a couple of them shallower. Um, not really sure. I figured having the weight on the bottom though is gonna g give me a little bit of peace of mind knowing, hey, you know, it's gonna stay where I put it. And I'm gonna go put these where I think I'm gonna catch some catfish based off where we've caught catfish in the past instead of just kind of throwing them out at random. So I'm just tying the old fashioned fishing knot here. You probably don't need to tie it like this, but this little, I will say this Walmart twine, I don't know if it's the deal. It, it just, it frays like I've never seen like yarn or anything fray before. I mean, it just, you cut it and it just practically explodes into this, whatever this is going on here. I, I couldn't even tell you. What's Bonzo doing? You doing big things some for his country? Hooks. Bonzo found some hooks for me. That's good. We didn't buy, okay. <sighs> Should we just tug on it, see what happens? All right, well, it's not gonna break. That is your classic fisherman's knot. If it, that's not the best looking knot that you ever seen, you haven't been looking at enough knots. That's a, that's a pretty knot right there. Go ahead and cut off some of this little excessive stuff. But this stuff won't even matter. Fish won't even see this. Just make sure it ain't coming off. Then what you're gonna do, go to your bottom, tie on a weight. So we went and got, these are some decoy weights that we use for decoys, for ducks. These are actually six ounces, which is obviously a little bit overkill for what we're gonna use it for. And this is the problem with the little fridge because it's gonna be really hard to get it through this hole here. I, I kind of regret using this line. I wish I would've just used braid. Some Guggen braid would've done better. Run her through there, tie whatever twisty knot that floats your goat here. This is just gonna anchor you to the bottom. You can make your own weights out of quick creed, buy some weights. You probably don't need stuff this heavy. Like if you're on a river with current, you're gonna want this, but for a pond, I mean, this is way overkill. We probably could just use little bullet weights or something if we wanted to, but go ahead and tie them up. Make sure it doesn't come off. So then basically you've got this contraption going on here. So what we're gonna do is, the good news is that we've got six of them, because you have two per person, is you can vary the depths and the heights of your hook. So what I'm gonna do here, assuming that you know this might not be super tight, meaning it's 15 feet, maybe go up, that's probably two feet, and put a hook here and it'll drape down and you know it'll be close to the bottom, maybe not right on the bottom. So how I'm gonna do this is how Rackley said, take it and tie it on like this. Just a little overhand knot, then go up another, let's say, how deep would this be then? This would be about seven foot. So we'll have one around, I would say 10 foot and one maybe around seven-ish foot. So go ahead and just take it, fold it over, pull it through. This is your loop knot. Next up, take this stuff. This is your thinner stuff. Now this is where I wish I would have just used Guggen braid because uh, we're probably gonna run into the same fraying issues as uh, the other twine and stuff. But this is what Walmart said to get. So we're gonna listen to old father Walmart because look at that. I mean, if that ain't, if that ain't the deal. Little trifecta action. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this up. And these, I don't think the length on these really makes that big of a difference, uh, to be honest, but we'll just go ahead and, I don't know, make them six, eight inches or something. So take your little loop, go ahead and run your line through there. This is again where, you know, you can tie whatever knot you trust. I'm gonna throw a couple overhand granny knots at these catfish. They won't, they won't even see it coming. <laughs> I mean, that's beefcake approved. I mean, that's yeah, that is beefcake approved. Let's go ahead and cut this line. And then what you're going to do is take it, make another overhand knot. Again, just a loop. And then what you can do is you take your hook. This was Rackley's tip. And then all you got to do is just go around. You don't even have to tie your hook onto the line. You just do one of these little hitch a ride things. There you go. Look. Look at that. And then if you want to take the hook off, you can take the hook off, I guess. That's that's your rig. You cut off your little dangle sticks right here. And then we're gonna put one down here on this guy. Basically the same strat. Take your take your old string, throw a couple granny knots on it, tie it to your hook, and then for bait, we've got a couple different options, okay? We've got your smoked beef sausage. Honestly, I wanna stick that in my mouth. I don't really wanna give it to these catfish. I mean, a beef sausage, yeah. what, what more would a man want than to put a beef sausage in his mouth? Name one thing, I'll wait. That's what I thought, you can't think of anything. And then we've got Bonzo's concoction. He cooked that up in his basement last night. Woo! God dang, that smells right. That rad. is gonna catch him. This is, this is. <laughs> no, don't. That's me. <laughs> awful. Bro, get the shot, quit back it up, get the shot, man. <laughs> this is uh, gizzard, or the gizzard from a shad. It's just organs of some kind that are just nasty. Our, lo our local boy, Pap, he hooked it up fat. He said this was what you wanted for kitty cats. So when an old man like Pap, you guys don't know Pap. Pap knows you. When you, when an old man like Pap says to get something to get accomplish a goal in life, like catch a catfish on a drug, you listen to the man. He's like Cy, Cy Robertson. Like he tells you something, you do, you don't disagree. You just say yes, sir, and you proceed with doing whatever he told you to do, no matter what it is. You don't question the man. He's that type of guy. So he told us that's a strat. So we're gonna listen to old Pap and see if his little I don't know what you even call that little mix up. He had it in a fridge and it was just it's gross. I don't know what I didn't ask questions. Listen, it's one of those things you just don't ask questions. Anyways, we're gonna rig this guy up. Look another 
one done. So this is kind of what your final product will look like. You got your jug, you got your weight, and you got your two dangly little hooks. Throw a little bait on there, chuck them out in the pond, see what happens. We're gonna get the rest of these rigged up, enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> My left nut is gone. Gone. I think it popped. I heard a popping sound. Oh my god. If that just pendulums into my scrotum. Oh god. Really? Help. That's the way. Nelly. Nelly. That hurt. All right. Well, we got the last noodle done. Let's go fishing. Shoo. All right, folks. <laughs> We see a, I know what you're trying to do here. We got a little wiener here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just get out on the boat. See what happens. Throw a couple of these dangle sticks out. You know what would be cool? We set one out. By the time the last one set out, we have a fish. That'd, that'd be kind of neat. neat. Anyways, um, we got that one. You got them. And uh, you got the bait and the gloves. We're going to go. Let's jump in the boat and see what we can make happen here. Oh my God, guy. <laughs> we just about done did it there, son. Phew. All right. Here, catch a wiener. Oh God, you about lost the wieners. <laughs> All right, I say maybe like one, two, three, and then maybe like a couple on the channels or something. Yeah, you're unpacking your wiener then? No, I'm putting the gloves on. Wait, you gotta bend over or what? All right, cough and <laughs> cough and cough one more time. Have you had to do that before? Twice. All right, give me a piece of that. Yeah, big chunky. Oh yeah. Dude, it smells fire. Little wiener kebab. So this one's gonna be, we'll put the stink bait on the low one on this. Cause we've caught catfish at this spot on wieners. So start high with the wieners. Is it pretty like hearty? Yeah. Like where it won't come off? Try to loop it twice. And then maybe hook that dangly thing on it. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's going to get it one. Bob, what do you think? Yeah. Let's see if it hits the bottom. There it is right there. That's perfect. That's good. Yeah. I'll drive it out just a little bit more. Keep it tight. There you go. One down. I think. Oh yeah, she stopped. That's perfect. I think that's a perfect spot right off that point. So we got one there. Definitely needed some off that point. We could just do points. D maybe do a cove shot and then a point shot. Yeah. Because I know this this cove can this cove has a fish. You caught a catfish one time. Come up here and put a deep one and then put a shallower one off the point. Okay. So we got fat wiener going on the bottom. <laughs> What'd you do with my wiener? <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> If it, it fell out of the boat unintentionally. I slowly watched that sinker die. I slowly watched that wiener die. It had a slow fall rate too. I thought for some reason I had like a slight hope it would it would float. How's that look to you? I mean about as appetizing as it gets. Yeah, it's pretty meaty or it's like doesn't feel like it'll fall off. Yep, just hook it back up there like that. Here we go. All right. Yep, that's that bottom right there. Money. That's perfect. Money. All right, one more on this point, and then we'll keep heading that way. Okay, so let's let's alternate. So winky on the top because we did winky on yep. the bottom of the last one. Oh yeah, that's that's sauce. All right, we're gonna try something different. Just chuck this one right in the freaking middle. That's what Rackley told us to do. So just let her float around, and it's really not windy. We don't have much to worry about. So we'll chuck this one out in the middle, and then keep going down yonder. Look at that. Oh yeah. There you go. All right. There you go. That one's sitting pretty shallow, but that's okay. So this one's just kind of, a, this is another floater. We're gonna take our last one over to the dam. And uh, what's crazy is I thought, we, we, we put ended up putting five out because we ran out of hooks. I thought five was so many or six was so many. And like, I feel like we haven't even like scratched the surface as far as covering like actual ground on this, but set to the dam, set the last one out. Oh yeah. All right. Did you hit 
bottom? No. Really? So we threw this one off the dam. Like I said, there's grass there, grass there, grass there. It's just kind of an open pocket. I don't see any of them chugging along right now. So we'll let them sit today. I mean, we might not get anything. We might be just total chumps at this sport. But I've always wanted a jug line fish. Oh, it, like since I was a kid, I would go down the river and fish and you'd see these guys out there. I'm like, that just seems so efficient, so easy. Come to find out, we kind of suck at it. But we might catch some big catfish. So see you guys tomorrow. Oh snap, folks, we got one already. Look at this. We were literally pulled the boat up and I looked. This guy, watch this guy. This one was a flat one, by the way. This was the first one we put up and I, and I said, this is gonna get one. And it was flat. Keep an eye on it. Just watch. He, see, you can already see it standing more than it was before because it was perfectly flat. Just watch. He gets freaking feisty. Come on, caddy. Come on. Come on, catfish. There's still tension on it because it's still floating a little bit, like standing up. He's just, he's swallowing it right now. Oh, look, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, look at it. Look at it. Oh yeah. Oh my god, look at that. That's so sick. It's literally just a giant bobber. We 100% got one. That's a fish. I'm gonna go look and check the other ones. We literally put the boat up and I looked back and that one was straight up. And that one, I, is, he, is he tugging oh, yeah. on it? Oh, look at it. He's, He's tugging. Up. He's tugging. I wanna leave it because I know you're, you're supposed to let him swallow it. At the same time, I don't want to necessarily kill the catfish we catch. You know, if one gut swallows it, then hey, catch, clean, cook, no, no, no problem. But if we could prevent it, look at him. He's taking it out to the deep. He's like, mm. but the other ones don't see like they have much. Those guys are standing up because they're floating. That guy's on the bank. On the, that guy's on the bottom. The other one's on. That other one's floating. This one was on the bottom. I think we're going to go. I mean, worst case scenario, it gets off. We rebait. You throw it out there. Thin leaf and let them swallow. Because I know that's kind of the, the whole. That's the game of jug fishing is, you know, letting them kind of swallow it a little bit. Um, But I can't. I can't go up to the house knowing that there's probably a keg or catfish. Oh, yeah. He's. T Dude, look how deep he's gone. Oh, wow. It was right here. He's gone like 10 feet. Yeah. He 100% has it. All right. Let's go catch this catfish. This is going to be our first jug line. Catfish land. Land ever, hopefully, if we don't mess this thing up. You guys got your sea legs? Oh my god. Alright. Freaking out. Here we go. I got him. I got him. Oh, what oh. the? What the heck? Look at that kitty cat. You little jokester. You freaking. What? What song do you think he's singing? I don't know. Sounds like Mary had a little lamb. What in the? Listen, we didn't get skunked, okay? That's all that matters. There you go. Oh, rip. Back in the water he goes. I'll see you guys. <laughs> all right. Well, oh, I thought he was going to be a little bigger than that. Son of a... Hey, we didn't get skunked. We still got the bait. We still got the bait. We're just going to throw her right in the same spot she was in. I mean, hey, that was pretty neat. Thought he'd be a little bit bigger. All right, we didn't hit bottom on that one. So that's all right. So Bonzo saw one twitching over here. Let's go. We'll get a little closer look. This is, I think this is efficient. It's kind of entertaining too. Because like you don't, your boat's not in one spot. Because if you take a boat out and you're throwing bobbers and you know catfish, you're, you're stuck in one spot. You basically can just line the whole creek and then just kind of like sit here, relax, crank some claws with the boys. And when one of them noodles starts dancing, then you get excited. Everybody loves when the noodle starts dancing. I don't want to disturb them quite yet. That one was for sure. You know, that was a for sure, for sure. All right, we're going in. We're calling it. I, I want to let him sit overnight, see what we come. It's like, I was telling these guys, I'm like, oh God, I just went again. Oh, did it? Oh, yeah. Look at those ripples. I think, oh, look I at think it. we got to check this one. Look at them. You can tell we're bass fishermen, not cat fishermen. We don't have patience. I mean, you kind of have to have patience for bass fishing, but like, not really. When I see a bobber doing its bobber thing, it makes me want to go grab on that noodle. I was literally just in the middle of the sentence of saying, let's go home, because I want to come back. It's like checking traps in the morning. You spend all day setting traps. Nothing's more exciting than waking up. It's like Christmas morning and go check the traps. You might have bobcat, coyote, or kitten. You know what I mean? You think I should just yank on it? Yeah, you want me to yank on that noodle? Why don't I just try to scare him? Is that how you fish? I mean, if I get, if, the thing is, if he has it, he'll run and you'll know. And if he if he doesn't have it, he'll drop it and he'll come back in an hour and we leave. It's, no, yeah. it's not a big deal. All right, Bonzi, you're grabbing this one since you want it so bad. I'm gonna let you I'm grab just on. Give it a little tug. Give, just, just don't yank hard, but just pull and keep pulling. Like keep tension? Sure. I need to be a little closer. I thought you were the last woman. Don't feel like anything. Nothing. 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 All right, just drop it straight down. You know what that's called? Prematurely touching your noodle. Can't be doing that. We're going inside. I'll see you guys in the morning. Shoo! Well, folks, we made it out. Oh, God. There, dude, there's two of them against the shore. Oh, snap. So, okay, let's think about it. I think we had five. I would say the one that's... Dude, that has to be fish because there was one over there, and now it's up against the shore, so that has to have a fish on it. I think the one that's sitting out there was the one we put on this point. Where's the other one at? Oh, that's 100%. Look at so one there. So we had one, one there, one there, one here. We had one on the, yeah, we had one on the cove. That was the one that Bonzo pulled up. But then we had one on over there, and then we had one way over there. They're all completely moved. That means they, they've got to have fish on it. What's weird though is why would those two, unless they just drifted over there, but they would have had to gotten stuck in. The
the weeds before they made it there. Uh, you know, a 15 foot rope with a huge weight, they would have stuck out. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that there's fish on these. This is gonna be crazy. There's none of them though that I'm seeing that's like really getting it. But I mean, they could also just be kind of tired out and just kind of chilling. This is gonna be crazy. Like I said, this is, this is literally checking traps. This is like trapping, but in the fishing world. So we're gonna go see if we catch one that's good enough to eat. Nothing too giant, but decent size. Bonzo wants to stick some catfish in his mouth. Sure. So we'll hopefully get a little catfish catch clean cook for you guys. But let's go wrangle up the old, uh, the old noodles. That was better. Cowabunga, baby. All right, here we go. This is interesting why they're like up it. Yeah, it said they would, with how much weight they had and how long the string was, they, it should have stopped. Like it should have got caught in the grass before it got to the shore. So I have a feeling that there's definitely fish on them. But I could be on They also could be largies. It doesn't have to be catfish. Could be just 10 pound large mouth for all we know. I don't know. But it's crazy how much they've all moved. Like that's the only one that didn't move that much. I think we're gonna catch two. The other thing I realized is there's two hooks. So what if you had two per, two, two per noodle? We got robbed twice. No bait. Uh-oh. I don't see string. I tied these knots. I tied them. Not well. That's it. They pulled them off. They had they had fish and they pulled them so hard that the knots came off and the noodles floated off. There's two of them that don't have string. Bro. I tied so many granny knots. Like, I don't know how many more granny knots you can tie. You're kidding, bro. We know when we got bamboozled. So we just have catfish swimming around with freaking 15 foot line just st sticking out of their mouth. Oh my. I knew that line was a bad idea. The, the line, I blame the line. I was wondering, I'm like, dude, these are so shallow. What, like, there has to be a fish on them. Or there's just nothing on them. So we got robbed on the first one. Two of them have no string, which means they, the knots came undone, which the only way that would have happened is if a fish was tugging on them so hard that the knot came undone. God, I suck. I swear, I tried to tie as good of a knot as I could possibly do. Here's your, here's your catfish. That's sick. Son of a, you would think a fisherman could tie a knot. That, I blame the yarn though. That yarn was kind of toast. That yarn sucked. Oh, oh god, oh god, big and big and big and oh my god! <laughs> it's a tank! It's a freak! It's a tank! <laughs> oh it's a giant! It's a, it's a freaking giant! Oh my god! That is not what I expected! That is not. <laughs> what? All right, hold on, Rick. You all right? Oh my gosh, this might be my PB catfish, boys. This is a kegger. I did not expect to have anything when I pulled no. on that. It was on the the liver thingy. Yeah. Or whatever the dude. That's got. It. I think that's my PB. I don't even know how to grab him without him biting me. Oh oh oh! Feisty. Ew! Oh snap! Easy, Rick. Easy. Hey 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 hey! Quit. Look at that. That's definitely my PB catfish, dude. That's. A, I wish we brought a scale. Oh god, yeah. Ew! Big and son. Shoo! All right. Hey, 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 easy. All right, put old Bert, dude, that's a big one right there. Put old Bertha back. Easy, easy, easy. Oh my gosh, my thumb got absolutely destroyed right there. You think that's, how much do you think that weighs? I don't know. Like, I don't, that's probably I don't catch catfish. Yeah. What do you guys think that weighed? That, like, I don't know, six to eight maybe? Yeah, that's what I was saying, six to eight. Six to eight? I don't know. Yeah. That was big chungus though. That thing, he, he made me a little weenie. I think we got one over there, Bonzo, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be your turn. Oh, you gotta really? got wrangle this one. Hope it's bigger. Hopefully, actually I hope it's, I hope it's smaller so we have one to eat. That was so unexpected. I did not think that was gonna happen when I yanked that sucker up. That was a big fish. We got one more drug to check, hoping for an eater. Oh God, oh God. Oh, oh it's definitely got a fish. There you go, it's got one. Get him! Oh Get him! Goodness. Oh god, he's got a big one! Come on! Oh Come on! Holy hey, crap! Look at this! It's, we got double? I don't know. Oh, oh it's, you it's got on a tree. stick. And I was like, oh it's crap. Mean, that's, that's a good eater. That's an eater. He's on a he's on a he's on a yeah. tree. Can you pull that tree up? Oh my god. Hey, let me just get this guy. Really I was like, oh that's yeah, I thought you had it absolutely. I thought so too. Alright. Cut him off. He's just because he, he swallowed it. That's a perfect. That's a perfect eating son of a gun, dude. You had that tree, and I thought you had. Dude, I thought it was the 14 pound of the guy at Walmart. I, about. <laughs> I thought you had look world this, record. Look at this guy. World record tree right there. So something was on that 100%. See how it's wrapped? Yeah. So you had a fish. It completely yep. wrapped around it. It wouldn't have done that otherwise. Wow. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we got an eater. It's gonna be a breakfast. Catfish and coffee. You, know, you ever had that? No, I haven't. Hey, that's what you're having today, catfish and coffee. He's a, he's on a little bit of the smaller side, but he'll eat. He'll, oh yeah. He's got a little flat on him. I'd rather release those chungus ones yeah, and eat for these sure. guys, because we stocked a ton of these guys, so it's the same thing as managing bass. You don't want a ton of the same size, because then it kind of runs through the same issue as having too many of the same size bass. So we're gonna throw him in, uh, in the old skillet, get him, get him cooked up. You guys stay tuned. 
Boom, we got old Leroy here. We're gonna try doing a little cleaning out here on the old tailgate. Uh, I'm gonna try a little bit different. The first time I did, I cleaned it just like you would like a walleye or something where you just cut it and then you just, you can kind of like cut under the skin. Is this thing sharp? Eh, it's not bad. But a lot of people with catfishing, they skin them. So you got these skinners. We're, we're, we got skinner. Bonds on skinner duty. So these little Walmart kits come with these guys. So I don't know, I'm just gonna start cutting to be honest with you. So what you wanna do, so there's a little bone you can see. The nice thing about catfish, they don't have scales. So like you can, you can literally just feel all their bones and cut all the way around them. But there's a bone right there, okay. There's a bone right here, so you're gonna wanna start here and go around this bone. And then go back up, just cut the skin, and then feel that bone right there and cut down. This is not going to be a professional job. If you guys want to know how to flay a catfish, probably just go YouTube it. I'm just going to do whatever I think will work. Just go ahead and cut, cut that down. I'm going to go alongside the back. Kind of, there's a little bone right here, cut around that. Just to get and you don't have to go deep because the skin's not very thick. Just go right along the spine, like that, okay? So now you've got all that cut. See, it all connects down here. So now the, be the belly is pretty bloody, so I can't show that on YouTube. So I'm just gonna cut around the belly and then we'll try to pull the skin and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that's working. That works pretty good. With the old tug here. Oh, that actually worked pretty that good. That kind of worked a little easier. I'll just cover that up <laughs> in my hand. Uh, so we pulled the skin off, so we're gonna cut this fillet off, do the same thing on the other side, and uh, show you guys the finished product. Boom! Look at these little catfish fillets, folks. Beautiful, even that small guy. Just absolute beauty looking fillets. But we're not deep fat frying them because we don't have any oil. We have like this much oil. So I put it in the skillet. We're gonna try pan searing it, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna try doing a buttermilk. See, I had some buttermilk in the fridge that I found. Throw a little buttermilk in there, okay? Let that guy soak off for a little bit. Then, this is your standard all-purpose slider, but this guy, this is a prototype duck seasoning, and uh, we're gonna mix it in with the flour and make our own fry. Instead of using the old box store stuff, we're gonna make our own. That way you can kind of season it to taste. You can have it as spicy as you want it. Go ahead and throw some of that in there. What do you think, Bonzo? You think that's enough? I think that'll be good. Mix that up. Get throw a little. Throw a little pepper in there too if we wanted to. And we might want to throw a little bit more in there. What are you throw, thinking? Throw a little of this guy too. You want some of this guy? Yeah. This is this is also Tuck's prototype. Let's just give her one of them. This is gonna be quite the combination. This is gonna be a flavor blast. Yeah, maybe a little more of this. In guy. your mouth. You want some spicy? Yeah. Bonzo likes it spicy, take note. There you go. Oh yeah, that'll be. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. That's gonna be good stuff there. So, go ahead and mix it up. Like I said, we're just making our a homemade deal. The amount of oil we have might not even work, so we're only gonna do one filet for now, and then if it works, we'll throw the other filet in. Otherwise, we might have to grill it. We came underprepared, folks, okay? We didn't buy oil, that was our fault. So, either way, you got her all sitting there. Take your buttermilk, kitty cat. Give her the old, is that a hair? Gross. Give her the old lay down there. Give her the old pat. We're ocean approved out here, okay? Give her the old pat. Give her the old lift. Give it the old sift. Give it the old flip. Just like that. What do you think? I think that's fine. Oh, I think that's This is gonna make great. me sneeze. Bless you. Test the oil. Why do you sneeze like that? Why do you look like that? Here we go, going in hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's plenty of oil. It'll be all right. All right. Well, I've never. I don't really pan fry anything, so hopefully I don't mess this up. Do the old flip ski here. Oh yeah. Hey, it don't look too bad. Easy, easy. I mean, I don't know if it'll be as good as the deep fat fryer. Just, I've perfected the art of deep fat frying with a deep fat fryer. Pan frying. I don't know. I don't know if it's the deal or not, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Got a little toasted, but not bad. Throw it around there. I think it'll be good. I mean, I say we just full send the next one. What do you think? Oh, snap. You made a mess. All right, well. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Woo, it's crispy. Oh, gee. Hey, ow. Hey, 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 hey. Quit. Not in my house. Yes, sir. All right, Bonzo, you know the drill. I need the final, final touch. A little af after bath, after oil bath sprinkle. We might have to go double on this one. Just, and this is a light deal. It's when it's fresh, it's hot, it's moist and wet. Juices are flowing. Give the old two finger tip tap. Then take this lightly, lightly. It'll absorb right into the fish. Boom, a little extra spice, in case you guys like extra spice. The other one's probably cooled off because we did one, one and one, let's see. Oh, I mean, it's still really hot, but I still want to stick this meat in my mouth. I'd say it's golden crispy. I mean, it's, it's crispy. Ooh, flip. look at the swirls. That is some flakage going on there. That's a big piece. It is a big piece. 
Oh God. How's the seasoning? Does it need more? No, it's really good. Is it good? Okay. You could go with more, but like, mm -hmm. I kind of like it. It's like the hint, you still taste the catfish. It's not like too much. It's Sometimes too it's much. too much. Yeah. That was really good though. We definitely could have gone with more. Ooh, the buttery taste. Mm -hmm. mm. There's you a secret. A little, you get a little Cajun, buttery. Yeah. There's 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 a secret to one of the seasonings there and it's butter. It tastes like it just tastes like butter. That's it really tastes good. like you cook like you put butter on it afterwards. That is good. Yeah, you're right. Like you could definitely go with more. It's a little bit on the blander side of things, but, but like you can actually taste the catfish. It's not covering up. That's the nice thing about making your own batter because when we've used the box batters in the past, they taste great, but you don't really taste the yeah. meat. So if you like the kind of a little bit of fishy taste of the catfish and you use those box blends, you're not going to taste it versus you do a little customization like what we're doing. You can kind of get best of both worlds. That's you want to try some of this? If you like, if you like spice, you're going to want to add a little bit more, but if you like the taste of fish with a little bit of seasoning, really it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was pretty shocked that it- Better it, than I expected. Yeah, way yeah. better. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely better than I expected. Uh, we, we're, we're trying to perfect the uh, the frying, okay? And well, now I know I can halfway pan fry something in, in a dire need. I would have preferred the deep fat fryer, but I would say next time, if you want a little bit more seasoning, throw a little bit more on there, but like I said, you can still taste the catfish. And uh, I, I want to bite it in the second one, because the second one we drizzled with the all's purpose seasoning yeah. after the fact, so it might have a little more flavor. So I'm going to try that. This one got a little extra seasoning, so look at that. That might be a little bit crispy too. It's pretty crispy. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Ooh, hot. Ooh, that's good. That's hot. Ooh, hot. Mm -hmm. You can taste the more the salt, the pepper, mm -hmm. the salt and the pepper and the garlic. I'd say that's the deal. Those two, that combo. I would say, yeah. It, that's good. that's your perfect little batter mix. Flour, the all-purpose seasoning, a little bit of that spice in there. It's the deal. Mmm. Not bad, is it? I mean, it's almost lunchtime. We were we were on the border of doing catfish and coffee or doing the lunch special. But either way, hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video. Be on the lookout for some duck seasonings coming. Right, we're thinking maybe July, August is. We're not really sure. We're trying to perfect some of them, okay? Um, but we're going to make some stuff that you guys at home can use for your catch and cooks or just for your steaks, your burgers, whatever it might be. Coming out with some really dope wild game stuff for you guys, so stay tuned for that. And um, overall, had a good success. First time ever jug fishing, not knowing what we're doing. I mean, two of them didn't have the string, which means there was a fish on them. So we should have had two, uh, two more fish. We caught a fish last night, and we caught two today, and then one of them, the bait was stolen. So every single noodle out of the five noodles was played with at some point. They were all playing with the noodles out there in the backyard pond. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more of the jug fishing videos, let me know in the comment section down below. And we're thinking we're going to go to a local river and try it instead of just going to the backyard pond all the time. Go to the local river and try to catch some real giant river monsters. Remember, if you want any Guggen Squad gear, including this prototype overall, just kidding, maybe, potentially, you'll see. But this hat, hoodie, anything Guggen Squad related, 15% off using promo code Flare. Link in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.